you know, I think uh, what makes uh, Coca-Cola uh, interesting as to an investor or to anyone is uh, really two things. It's uh, been able to, you know, maintain its point of view as a brand over time. And uh, this is what is commonly referred to as an iconic brand. So in other words, there, there are great brands out there, lots of brands, but there are relatively few that is, are able to maintain a point of view on the, the changing times around them. So if you think about it, Coke has always had a point of view on uh, society. So in the early 60s, when there's a lot of cultural change, uh, you know, they had a, a point of view on race relationships. And remember the, the Mean Joe Green commercial where Mean Joe Green tosses his shirt to the, the kid. This is what makes brands iconic, uh, having a point of view around the, the world around them. And then the second thing is I think uh, Coke has always been able to leverage its assets in new ways. Of course, we have a core business, but it's always been able to adapt and change to the marketplace by offering new products and services, uh, again, that are outside of our core business. I mean, Coke and every other large corporation uh, can't remain, uh, can't stand on its, its laurels, right? So you have to adapt. Every large company or brand or product must adapt to uh, be relevant. Every company is right now afraid of having a Kodak moment. You, know, you can imagine the, the people inside of Kodak uh, looking at the iPhone and calling it a toy at some point. <laughs> now they're not. You know, so um, that's what every large company, every brand uh, you know, should be looking at and, and frankly avoiding. And lots of phrases out there right now ro rolling around disruptive innovation and so forth. But whatever you, whatever you want to call it, every brand, every company, every large organization must remain relevant or they simply die.